And welcome back. The Preservation Alliance of West Virginia is now accepting nominations for its 2016 Endangered Properties list. They have saved or are helping to save around 50 historic sites that have been on the list already. Catherine Guyon has more about the application process. We're a rel relatively young nation. You go to Europe and you see buildings that are, you know, 700, 800, 1,000 years old. Here we have buildings 300 years old. It's time to save them. Saving them starts with applying to the endangered properties list, and the first qualification is being listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Having that eligibility does make them qualify potentially for things like grants, tax credits, so we want to make sure that they're eligible. And it's, it's not a hard process to, to find out if you're eligible. I will go to the site and do a historic site analysis. I will write a report on it. Um, we, although we do not, Preservation Alliance of West Virginia is a nonprofit. We do not provide funding. We help uh, groups and communities seek funding. A historic properties inventory form must also be completed that details the historical significance and other information. What changes have been made to the property over the years? Is it still intact? Is it still architecturally? Um, I mean, has it had too many modifications over the years? Is there still enough there? for it to reveal its history. One of the most important parts of qualification is support and a future plan of use from both the community and owners. Much as we'd love to help someone save a wonderful random vacant building, we want to help properties that actually have a good chance of being saved. And so the property needs to already have substantial public support within its community. All nominations are due by January 15th. If you'd like more information on how to apply, we have it all on WBOY.com. I'm Katherine Guyon for 12 News.